a slight journey into the Practical Astronomy show. I can't think of what to say. Sorry my footage was a bit wobbly, I should have used my gimbal, but I didn't and I don't know why. Oh well. Doopy doopy doo, doopy doopy doo. Morning, it's about 10 past eight and it's the Practical Astronomy show today. So it's changed locations, should take about an hour and 15 minutes to get there. So I will see you there. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Practical Astronomy Show yesterday. It was really good fun, really good. It's changed venues. It was in Kettering before, and this time it was in Stoneley Park, which is near Coventry, kind of south of Birmingham. And uh, it was really good. It was a good venue. Uh, there were no lectures this year, which is a shame because lectures are a real draw for people, but I totally understand new venue, it was all in one space, which meant it would have been difficult to have a PA and um, a seating area and also the purchasing area in one uh, space. So I understand why they were not able to do the lectures this year, but the show was really good. For some weird reason, I became slightly obsessed with looking at an AZ EQ5 mount. I don't know why I kept going back to this mount. I really liked it. I just thought, that's a really elegant mount. I don't know why, I just kept going back. And I didn't realise I was going back quite as often until I watched my footage back. And I seemed to be going there and having a look at this mount. Um, it was just very nice. I have an AZ EQ6 already and an EQ5 Pro, but the AZ EQ5 for some reason just caught my eye. There were some absolute bargains to be had. There was an EQ5 mount which was just below £500, which I think was also belt drive modded. That's steel, that's a really good price. Even for a second-hand mount, that's a really good price. Most of the traders had some form of discount on and many people were taking advantage of all of this. There were lots of suppliers there. Uh, I kind of felt there were three big suppliers, so we had Altair Astro, the widescreen center and 365 astronomy and then all the way around the edges they had some of the smaller vendors as well and of course some of the associations and societies that you can become a member of. There's a really nice range of filters available to see and to have a look at. In particular, on the Altair stand, you could really have a good look at the filters that were available. I was particularly interested, as I think many other people were, in the new sort of semi-broadband filter, the new RGB filter, which Altair had on their stand. And it actually appeared to have sold out by about lunchtime. So it was clearly a very popular filter.
So what did I buy? It's all down here. Oh. That didn't go well. I bought... Not very much, to be honest. I bought um, a secondary mirror, dew strap, and a primary mirror, dew strap, for a project which is upcoming. And they also had some Newtonian dew shields which were really good value. These are from W and W Astro and I've got one of their juice straps already and it's really good. So I bought a couple of these and this one is for my large 8 inch Newtonian again from W and W Astro. I have built a dew shield but I decided to buy a proper commercially built one. And that's it. That's all I bought. I didn't buy anything else. There was lots of stuff I would have loved to have bought, but I didn't uh, buy anything else. One of the big headlines from PAS this year was smart telescopes. There were so many smart telescopes, particularly the Sea Star. The Dwarf Labs 2 was also there. I saw one lady come up with a shopping list and it was basically for a Sea Star and a huge list of accessories for the Sea Star. So clearly that was a hugely popular product which was available at the show. And of course it would have been discounted as well. There were, of course, a load of Astro YouTubers there, all taking lots of footage. I have to say, all I did was put a little camera on my coat, so my footage is just wobbly cam, which I apologise for. I did have a gimbal with me. For some reason, I just didn't use it. But anyway, hopefully you get an idea of what was at the show. <laughs> That was the Practical Astronomy Show. Sorry about the wobbly camera. I didn't use my gimbal and I don't know why. So these bits that I bought here are to go on a new and exciting project. So imagine a 130 PDS like this and then Adding a second 130 PDS side by side. <laughs> 